Hello students, once again welcome back to the YouTube channel Computer World. I hope you all are fine. Today in this video we are going to discuss the practical number 6 from the unit electronic spreadsheet advanced and the practical is to perform data consolidation on the marks of students. This video is for class 10 IT402. Now let us start with the video. So first of all we have written down the steps for this one that is to perform the consolidation. We have written total 8 steps, sorry 9 steps in this one and we have done these steps from the NCRT book page number 61 and page number 62. So we have copied the steps from here. Now one by one according to the steps we are going to paste the screenshots also. So when we go to the open office calc here we have created two sheets, sheet 1 which consists of the marks of the students of a particular exam. Then sheet 2 consists of the marks of the same students of another exam. Now in the third consolidated sheet, we are going to consolidate the marks of these two sheets. So in this case, the very first step is, first of all, we need to open the worksheet that contains the cell range to be consolidated. And then we have to choose the consolidate option under the data menu. Now if we see open office calc, here we have sheet 1 and sheet 2. Now we have to open the third sheet in which we want the data to be consolidated. So, here we will go data menu and data menu we will go consolidate. So, we have to first tell that where is this sheet and then we have to take the screenshot of also those sheets where we have our data. So, first of all, we have to open sheet 1. Sheet 1 we have to take it and then we are going to take it screenshot. Windows Shift S. Let us take here the row number and the column number also. So Windows, Shift and S. This one, let us copy it in MS Word under the step number 1. So this is our first sheet. Now we will take the data from the second sheet. Sheet 2. Windows, Shift, S this much data and then we have to copy it side by side towards the first sheet screenshot okay now we have to take the consolidate option from the data menu so here we have to just go to the open office calc and choose that option data consolidate windows shift s and just take the screenshot of this much part. Now go to MS Word again and paste it where we have placed the cursor. With the help of draw menu or the tab, just highlight the consolidate option from here. And it is in which menu that we can specify here that it is in the data menu. Now after doing this thing, the next step is select the ranges on the sheet. We have to select the range on the sheet and then we have to click on the add button. So we will go to open office calc, consolidated final sheet, data, consolidate and this dialog box will come. So here first we need to select the data. So we have to click on this button and we will go to our sheet 1 and select the range of data from A1 to D6. Click again and click on the add button. Now. Again click on this button, shrink button, go to sheet 2 and again select the range of cells that is A1 to D6. Then click on this button and click on add button. And from here you can apply any function out of sum, count, average, anyone. Suppose in this example we want to do the sum. Okay. And we have done add and this consolidated data you want in which sheet. So go to the consolidated sheet and select the very first cell. We have taken consolidated sheet A1 cell. Click on the more button. And just tick mark this row label, column label and link to source data. Row label means to aapne row ki heading diya wo bhi hai. Column label means column ki headings hai. And link to source data ka matlab. Jo bhi aap apne sheet 1 or sheet 2 mein changes karte hai. Wo aapko consolidated sheet mein bhi dikhai di. To hum kya karenge? Itne baat ka screenshot le lenge. Windows Shift S. Ab aapne yaha se consolidated dialog box ka screenshot le lena hai. Word mein ja ke aap isse kya kar denge? Paste kar denge. Now. 
सो वी हैव सेलेक्टेड द फंक्शन ऑल्सो मोर का भी हमने कर लिया ये सब हमने कर लिया और यहाँ पे जाके हम इसे क्या कर देंगे पेस्ट कर देंगे जस्ट एडजस्ट द साइज अकॉर्डिंग टू योर रिक्वायरमेंट इसके अंदर आप सारी चीजें ले चुके हैं दैट इज ये दो आपकी कॉन्सोलिटेशन की रेंजेस हैं देन ये आपका फाइनल जहाँ पे कॉपी रिजल्ट होगा और मोर में जाके आपने रो लेबल कॉलम लेबल और लिंक टू सोर्स डेटा को भी टिक कर दिया अब आप इसमें ओके पे क्लिक करेंगे और आपका जो डेटा है वो कॉन्सोलिडेट होके आ जाएगा हमने यहाँ से ओके पे क्लिक किया एंड यू कैन सी हियर द डेटा हैज बीन कॉन्सोलिडेटेड इस सारे डेटा को सिलेक्ट करके हम सेंटर में प्लेस कर देते हैं एंड यहाँ पे आप देखिए रो नंबर वन फोर सेवन टेन थर्टीन सिक्सटीन इट मीन्स बीच की दो के बीच में जो भी आपके दो रोज हैं वो हिडन है तो आपने यहाँ प्लस के साइन पे क्लिक करना है और यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं जैसे कि यहाँ पे प्रीति का शीट वन में हिंदी के फोर्टी फाइव मार्क्स थे शीट टू में फोर्टी मार्क्स थे तो टोटल होके आपके कितने आ गए एटी फाइव ठीक है इसी तरह से जैसे ही आप प्लस साइन पे क्लिक करते जाएंगे ये सारा डेटा आपको कॉन्सोलिडेट करके दिखाता जाएगा ठीक है सो दिस वे यूर डेटा इज कॉन्सोलिडेटेड नाउ सो वी विल जस्ट क्लिक ऑन विंडोज शिफ्ट एंड एस एंड टेक द स्क्रीन ऑफ दिस मच पार्ट and paste it at the last and also what we can do is we can click on the minus sign here so that the data is consolidated and shown accordingly like this so we are going to take it screenshot also we will just take windows shift and s and we will just make the screenshot of this one and then we are going to paste it here so this way our consolidated data has come by taking the screenshots we'll just paste it here and we'll format it according to our requirement right if the size is a little big you can just move it upwards or downwards as per your requirement now you can see here in the very first step we have taken the two worksheet in which our data was there this is the first sheet and then this is the second sheet You can give a little gap between them so that there is a little gap and the data is seen accordingly. Okay, like this. Then in the second step, we have taken the menu in which this option is there. Then we have to select the range of sheets that we have selected. After selecting them, we have to click on the add button, and then we have to check the function which we have to apply. After that, consolidate dialog box we have to take, and after the ninth step, we have to take the final sheet which has come in the form of the output. and this we can place it in the center like this and we can just select it and then format it according to your requirement that this is our final sheet you can take a simple light border also so that it is properly visible just put your cursor after this one and press the enter key this will also go select it which a format and just click on this one it shows that it can represent the lines can represent that this is our final out okay so this way we can know how we have to write the steps for the data consolidation and how we have to paste the screenshots theek hai you can arrange the pictures accordingly so that inki jo indentation hai adjustments hai wo aapki proper thodi si aa jaye theek hai so this is how we have to do this practical students i hope this practical is clear to all of you in case any suggestion is there or anything which you want to say about this video you can tell me in the comment section and if you find this video helpful you can like it share it and subscribe the channel so till then i'll meet you in my next video till then have a good day and thank you